Hello everyone! Story time again. Today we're going to read Keith the Cat with the Magical Hat. Keith the Cat with the Magic Hat by Sue Hendra. It's a funny picture on the front. Look. What's he got on his head? Yeah! Some buzzing bees. Make a buzzing bee sound. Bzzz. There you go. Keith the cat was merrily minding his own business when. Whee! Plop! There's all his friends sitting there, all his cat friends. Ha ha ha! Keith's got an ice cream stuck on his head, chuckled the other cats. Suddenly, Keith felt a little bit shy and a little bit silly. Oh, poor Keith. It's, it's not an ice cream, he squeaked. It's a... Uh... It's a... Uh... What's he thinking? Look, he's thinking it could be a clown hat. It's a... Uh... What's that? Unicorn? A fairy? It's a... Uh... That's a good idea, isn't it? Looks like a magic hat. It's pointy. A magic hat! Yes, that's it! A magic hat! This made the cats laugh even louder. Go on then, show us some magic, they chortled. Poor Keith, what was he going to do? Well, well, well first, stammered Keith, I, I, I need my magic wand. He reached for the chocolatey magic wand on the ground, but... What is it? Is it a chocolatey magic wand? What do you think it is? It is chocolate. I think it's from the ice cream. It might be the flake from the ice cream. It started to run away, all by itself. The cats were amazed. Wow, Keith, you made it move, they gasped. Is it ready? Can you see? Why is it moving? Because there's ants underneath it carrying it. Keith was amazed too, but he didn't say anything. More, the cats cried excitedly. More magic, more, more. Keith took a deep breath, then he waved his wand around. Abracadabra! But nothing happened. Keith tried again. Alakazoo! Still nothing happened. Can you say that? Alakazoo! Sounds funny, doesn't it? The cats were getting impatient. They chanted and stamped their feet. More, 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 more. Uh, Wizzy woo doo da! Cried Keith, and just then, a whole family of rabbits popped out of the ground. They'd never heard such a noise. You know, look, pop, pop, pop. We do a rabbit. Hmm? Can't do it. you do that? I used to be able to do it. Keith, you did it! The other cats cheered. You magic stopped from, you magic stopped some rabbits! Hooray! They were all having such a fun time that they didn't notice a distant woof. Huh. What makes that sound? Yeah, and what do cats do when that animal comes along? Uh-oh. Woof! 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 Yikes! A dog! Quick, Keith! Save us with your magic! The cat squealed in panic. Oh no. Woof! 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 But of course, Keith couldn't really do magic. What was he going to do? Huh? The cats ran up the tree. 
They looked down at the barking dog. Quick, Keith, do something, they cried. Then... Whoops! <gasps> Keith's magic hat slipped off his head. It was falling quickly through the air. It goes... Fallen on the dog's head. Look. Oh no! Your magic cat! cried the cats. Now you'll never be able to make the dog disappear. Keith felt terrible. It's not a magic hat, he admitted sadly. You were right all along. It's just an ice cream. And now we're all stuck up this tree forever. I'm sorry. But then... What did Keith just do? What did he do with his friends? He told the truth. It's important, always important to tell the truth. Look what's happened. All the bees, bzzz, they're chasing the dog and the dog's run away. Hooray for Keith, cried the cats. You're magic even without your hat. Well, thank you, said Keith shyly. And for my next trick, I will make this blob of ice cream on the end of my nose disappear. The cats waited patiently. Then... Keith stuck out his tongue and licked it off. <laughs> Can you stick out your tongue? Can your tongue reach your nose? I can't quite do it. Some people can do that. Get their tongue to touch their nose. That's the end of the story. So, what did we learn from this story today? I think the most important moral from this story is to always tell the truth. That's right. Now, Keith felt a little bit shy initially. He felt a bit embarrassed because there was an ice cream on his head. Then he would feel a bit, a bit embarrassed about that. But... He decided at the end, when eventually, when he got to it, he did tell the truth. He may have told a few porkies, a few little white lies, but in the end he decided to confront it and actually tell the truth. That's very important. Sometimes we do things wrong. We can't always get it right. Sometimes we do things wrong, but it's always important to tell the truth. If it's to your teacher or your parent or even to your friends, Always remember that the truth is the most important thing. Hope you enjoyed today's story. Um, before we go, as always, remember books are knowledge. And knowledge is power. Books are knowledge and knowledge is power. More books, more knowledge. More knowledge is more power. Please subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, any comments for me, leave them down below. And until next time, sleep well and good night.